No disease. It starts in the brain. The largest sex organ that you possess is your brain. Tune in for discussion on all sexual matters. What? Sex explosion. Family, you catch me here. Well, Empowering all them are just, are just take it out. Oh. Oh. These are just take out all those. We get all them out from. Me, no. We you do. You the unit for that end? Oh, 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 no, no, no. That means only ads when we run. When we run. Now I tell you, they just load me up. Well, thank you for staying here with us on Power 102.1 FM. And a very special thanks, as always, to Nine Miles International. So while taking over time, it's now six minutes after to nine o'clock, and we do welcome you to Trinidad and Tobago number one nighttime program when it comes to sex education. Sex explosion on Power 102.1 FM with the guru of sex education, your host, Dr. Raj Ramnanen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center of St. Augustine, where he do treats all sexual dysfunctions in both male and female. On a very special good evening to you, my big brother. How are you today? Pleasant good evening to you. Uh-huh. And to all the listeners and viewers out there. Yes, and it's a, it's a beautiful Friday evening. That's right. Really mm -hmm. nice Friday. Yes. I know. It's only... And you know, I like to start the program kind of sticking it on you a little bit. With on me? Yeah, I see a woman didn't do too well. But I must say congratulations. They did, they, they did fine. They but, did excellent uh, to get there. But yeah. What are you going to do? Nice part of it? Yeah, nice part of the thing. But you, you know, you got to look on the brighter side. It's only 365 days again before they participate in the next one. So we can look forward to that. Who knows? Maybe it will have others. It will have others. Yeah, Don't maybe. worry about that. So it's a Friday evening. Yes. And, um, you know. Well, I just, I, I, my broadcast um, told my listeners and the viewers, to, let's have fun tonight. Yeah, I like that. I Let's like have that. some fun. Yeah, yes. I mean, Let's just put everything in the mix and have some fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. good to have fun, you know, especially on a Friday night. Yeah, Pleasant yeah. good evening to Petra, Petra. Anjani, Dolly, um, Deuki. Pleasant good evening to you all. All the nice people. All of them. <laughs> especially when they join us on this program. Oh, yeah. Stephanie. I'm locked on very cold here in New York. We cold here too. <laughs> we freezing here. But, <laughs> but I'll be freezing my tail off tomorrow by you. Mm -hmm. Derek, my good friend. Are you still in Australia, Derek? Randall, um, are you at Matches Bar? You see, some people have to know where they are. <laughs> yes, I mean, that's important. Sunita, she's on also. Yeah, it's, I, I think it's winter in here. I think... I think um, Steve Khan may have requested that, you know, since we're coming around to Christmas, we should have yeah, the yeah. studio freezing cold. And yeah, as a matter of fact. Snowflakes. Yeah. Why is it so dark in here? Um, oh, okay. All right. I was just wondering. Our family wanted to get romantic. <laughs> With himself? <laughs> no, but he was hoping that by dimming the light, some lucky person will walk in and say, hey, family. <laughs> and we're the only two persons yeah. walking here. <laughs> 
Good thing I woke head first. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be very careful with these guys in this no, place no, no, in the world. No, no, no. This romantic setting out here, Brent. No, he's a good brother. No, no, no. Nine Miles is a good brother. He's a good brother. He was in the mood. He, he was playing some really good music, I must say. Nah, he always played good music. I enjoy it. I mean, even though I'm missing my partner, but he plays good music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I enjoy it coming up the road. Yeah. So it's a Friday evening, and what do you look forward to? Well, we're looking forward to questions and answers, getting into the um, the niceness of sex education but mm-hmm. you know on a Friday it's more um, laid back you okay. can discuss things in a yes, different yes, way yes. we start at a later time mm-hmm. on Thursday we're from we we're seven. from seven to nine and Fridays mm-hmm. we take over we take over and we go from nine to twelve but tonight we're closing off at eleven. Eleven. I have some commitments tonight so I have to get that out of the way mm-hmm. also. So they go to bed at eleven <laughs> What, what, what did you say? Yeah. You're trying to beat the clock because you could have been earlier. <laughs> and for those of you who are heading to that um, fundraiser tomorrow, I um, yes, I'll please be support it. Yes, Toei is a, is a gentleman, mm-hmm. is a friend, is a someone. A once you know that guy, you fall in love with him. He is a true brother. He is a brother that down to earth. Now, I'm going to be there. I see Wicked Angel is on with us. Wicked Angel? Yeah, Wicked Angel. Oh, Being good. wicked as ever. It will be a nice night. Mm-hmm. It will be. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it will be a nice night. Yes, yeah, it will be a nice night. You know, this is the Friday evening. A lot of people look forward to the weekend, especially when you're thinking on a sexual level. You know, a lot of people don't like it during the week, but they know on a Friday night you have the Saturday morning off. You know, it's a mindset when it comes when it comes to things of a sexual nature. You know, take care. It's a mindset like that. You know. There are guys who look forward to a certain time of the year yeah. because they tell themselves if it's my birthday is coming up, well, sex is involved. If it's an anniversary coming up, sex is involved. Yeah. And, and that's where men, because men compartmentalize things, mm-hmm. yeah. we put things in different compartments, so we expect certain things when these things come up. Mm-hmm. So anniversaries and special occasions and whatnot must be celebrated with sex. And I hope you ladies already understand that. It's not a bad thing for you to want to have sex during time of celebration because mm-hmm. sex is also a celebration. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, the women don't see it that way. They think that, oh, because you're horny and because you like sex, you, you're looking forward to sex because it is your birthday or my birthday mm-hmm. and you're looking forward to sex. But we, it's, it's how our minds are programmed and it's the way we celebrate things. Mm-hmm. And you have to be thankful that you don't want to celebrate it with somebody else. You want to celebrate no, but it. But the thing about it, eh? when you're thinking in terms, especially while I'm speaking in terms of the men's side, when a birthday is coming up, somehow your mind is programmed sex. That's what I'm telling you. The first thing that comes that that, to mind. that always comes up. That's the gift you're looking for. You're not thinking of and you, what. And, the and you're <laughs> also looking for something extraordinary. Yeah. It's not yeah. just the ordinary yeah. sex. It's something must be extraordinary. Yeah. Must be yeah. a bit. A little different. Yeah. Because imagine it's your birthday coming up and instead of you looking for a gift, the woman is looking for a nice negligee to wear at night. Well, you'll appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Christmas coming up, you're looking for that. You, well, yeah. Whatever you're celebrating, once there's a celebration, mm-hmm. you're looking forward to the sexual mm-hmm. act, you know. But As what? opposed to the, the normal routine of having intercourse. And let's face it, we all fall into a routine, you know. Mm-hmm. No matter who we are, we all fall into a routine. For example, and this happens to everyone, when you go home, when you reach home, you park your car in a designated area in your mind. And if that area is occupied, you feel yeah. uncomfortable, you get agitated. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a fact. You get vexed. What you're saying there is true. So you park your car there. You come out of your car in a particular way. Mm-hmm. You lock your car in a particular way. You put your keys in a particular place. And if you have, if you have put that keys in that place, trouble, trouble for you. I'll well, tell you what we are going to do at uh, 40 minutes after nine o'clock. It's an explosion on Power 102.1 FM with the Guru of Sex Education, Dr. Raj Ramnanam. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. Probably the most celebrated holiday in the world. Christmas in Trinidad and Tobago is filled with traditions. This is how we celebrate it. Tree Traditions is on Power 102. 
Hear from local celebrities and how they celebrate at this time of the year. Christmas Eve. Me? Crazy. Because that's the day when I have to do everything last minute. With house parading, cleaning and painting, midnight mass, food, and spending time with friends and family. If you teach one of my mother pastel, you don't want to eat pastel from nobody else. Be a part of our 12 weeks of Christmas here on Power 102 with Trilly Traditions. Three times daily from Monday to Friday at 9.35 a.m., 1.35 p.m., and 5.35 p.m. Spend the season with us and share in our Trilly Traditions. Mommy! Christmas Day. Sponsored by Neelam Massey North Credit Union, Better Pays, Karen, and Agricola Credit Union on Power 102. Empowering you. This Christmas, you've got a minute to win. Minute to win. The Power Holiday Minute to win is on Power 102. I feel that's how you have to be long, John, to tell you. My knees freeze this way. My family just gave me the tea just now. I just bring it down the tea. Cool already. Oh yeah, it's nice, it's cool. Classic Christmas I know what they were doing it with it. Cool, they're real cool. Join the fun and win this Christmas with us. The Power Holiday Minute to Win, Minute to Win, all part of our... With the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramdanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. Well, here we're going to give you an early break tonight by giving you the opportunity to interact with Dr. Raj live in studio. Anything you have on your mind that is sexual that might be bothering you and you need to get an answer for it, I can tell you here is the forum. 2228255, also at 6128255. For those of you sending in your WhatsApp or text message, you can also do that on his private mobile, 740-1961. You're listening to a program that's informative, it's educational, and of course entertaining exclusively on Power 102 FM. Yes, so getting back to what I was telling you about, yeah. um, again, is the way men minds are, are wired. Mm -hmm. And sometimes women tend to blame them because they think that is all they think about, but it is a way of celebrating, celebrating your love, celebrating your anniversary, celebrating your birthday. It's a way of celebrating, incorporating sex in the celebration because that is also a celebration. Mm -hmm. That is something, you may not be good at it. You may not be able to, to go the distance or even satisfy your partner, but you're still thinking along those lines. Could be a lucky night. No, no, but not, you, you, not what I'm getting. What I'm getting apart from that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it always sends your antenna up, right? Always, always. I can't see a person, especially the male gender. Birthday is coming up, and he's telling his fiance, his wife, or his girlfriend, "Look, my birthday is Sunday, and I'm pretty sure while he's mentioning my birthday is on Sunday, the first thing they're running." Boy, I wonder what time I'll get lucky. Always. Interest is the sexual relationship you're going to have. You know? I would think, yeah, I would think so. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. the, whether we whether we admit it or not, it's mm -hmm. there at the back of our mind. I wouldn't say more so with men than women. You know, women also looking for that part of it. Mm -hmm. But with the woman, the woman, it is a build-up. Uh -huh. It is the romance. It is, how am I going to um, reward you? Mm. With the man, it's uh -uh. anytime, anyhow, no. any place, no, no, no. anyhow I could get it, I'm happy no. to get it. He don't, he not looking for the reward, he's just looking for the interest. So, mm. that's what sex does to you. Mm. But that's good though. But, um, and um, most of the times... You have birthday I know people with women as well that their birthday is during the week, but they look forward to celebrating it on a weekend. Oh yes. Just as how we like the party also, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, some people like to have a party for their birthday. Yeah. Or a party for their anniversary or a party for something. Or they have a, a house get together and whatnot, friends invite friends and have a couple of drinks and, and eats mm -hmm. and whatnot. Just as how you have that planning in your mind and the things that you would like to do to celebrate, you also have that planning in your mind with the sexual part of it that comes in, in, in into the whole free. Now, a lot of women may not understand that because they're thinking of all the work that needs to be done 
all the things, the preparation yeah. and all that. Yeah. Yes. And not only that, after you finish their work after that. Mm -hmm. So your mind is more focused on that. But the person, the, the, the male counterpart, he has already gone beyond that and oh, thinking yeah. about when you go to bed. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, sometimes he puts himself in a position where he say, why don't we could clean up that in the morning? Correct, <laughs> correct. You, you, you put aside things. Yeah, you, yeah, we could. You we could put aside things because what you want to do is get as much quality time as possible. Now, the, the failure comes in when the man is unable to fulfill the needs of the woman mm -hmm. in terms of longevity, being able to satisfy having the tools and the equipment or the, the, the where it all to do it. And that's where the problem comes in. And that's why some women rebel and some women are not too enthusiastic to do things. Mm. They, 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 they know you want to do that. They would like to do it, but they're not too pleased about doing it with you because you're not going the distance and you're not giving them what they want. Mm -hmm. That satisfaction. Correct. So you have, you have a situation many a times where that incompatibility mm -hmm. with your behavior, your sexual, your, your sexual being, when it, it doesn't mesh with your partner, and that causes the problem. Not that the person is unwilling to do it, you know. They're willing to do it, provided that they get the satisfaction that they want. Oh. If they're unable to get that satisfaction, they're not, although they're willing, they, they, it's, it's, it's a deterrent because they know that you're not coming up to par. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's why I tell people, you know, when, when, when couples <coughs> and whatnot come to me and they, they're talking about how do they spice up their sex life? What they do, do they do to strengthen things? Mm -hmm. The communication is important, but understanding the needs of your partner and your ability and doing things to better yourself. Yeah. What do you do to better yourself so that your partner wants you, want to be with you, want to cuddle with you, want to have sex with you? Are you doing those things? If a person likes certain position or certain, certain things about the sexual act, mm -hmm. your behavior, your personal hygiene. All these factors you have to take into consideration. You cannot come to bed smell, reeking of alcohol, no. smelling like an ashtray, yeah. you know, and you expect the person to be turned on by that. There are some persons who will not be turned on by that. Of course, there are, there are limited few who will be. But the majority of women no, would want good. something. Mm -hmm. they, want, yeah. they, they, they want to feel appreciated also. So you don't want to present yourself to your spouse or your girlfriend in a manner that Oh, this is how I am. Mm -hmm. You have to take me as you get me. No. Sometimes you have to present yourself in a way that you show appreciation for the person. Mm -hmm. Anyway, before we're taking over time, it's now 24 minutes after 9 o'clock. Sex Explosion on Power 22.1 FM with the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramnanan. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. In Trinidad and Tobago is full with traditions. This is how we celebrate it. True Traditions is on Power 102. Hear from local celebrities and how they celebrate at this time of the year. Christmas Eve. Me? Crazy. Because that's the deal and I have to do everything last minute. With house parading, cleaning and painting, midnight mass, food, and spending time with friends and family. If you teach one of my mother pastel, you don't want to eat pastel from nobody else. Be a part of our 12 weeks of Christmas here on Power 102 with Trinity Traditions. Three times daily from Monday to Friday at 9.35 a.m., 1.35 p.m., and 5.35 p.m. Spend the season with us and share in our Trinity Traditions. Mommy! Christmas Day. Sponsored by Neelam Massey North Credit Union, Better Pains, Karen, and Agricola Credit Union on Power 102. Empowering you. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas on Power 102 with our 12 weeks of Christmas. We're bringing you lots of joy and holiday cheer with our fun features and opportunities to win fantastic prizes for you and the family. Listen out for our Trini Traditionals, our Power Minute to Win, Trini Recipes, Power Parang Line, Christmas Classics, and our Picture Perfect Christmas to name a few. You've been wrapped up in the warm for this festive season with Power 102's 12 Weeks of Christmas. Access info about our giveaways and more on Power 102 and online at power102fm.com or any of our digital platforms. The 12 Weeks of Christmas is on Power 102, empowering you. This Christmas. It's the final extension of Club India Expo, located on the white tent opposite Metro Gas Station Shabonas, closing on November 19th. Close the Wally Sale. Everything must sell. Get up to 50% off, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. From ready-made garments to religious items. Free Metro Camp, courtesy Life Care Metro Center. You name it, we have it. Club India Expo, closing on November 19th. Exclusion Dance Sale now begins as Internet Star Exclusion Dance for the year. Yes, Internet Star Expo is closing on 25th November. Get 
ready made garments, handicraft, footwear, jewelry, toys, furniture, and much more. The best bargain of the year. Your last chance. No further extensions. Indian style expo at the White Temple Choir. Definitely closing on 25th November. I want to continue that when it comes to nighttime radio and sex education, we are always one step ahead. You are on the inside of Trinidad and Tobago, number one nighttime program, Sex Explosion, with your host, Dr. Raj Ramnanam. Well, here what we are, our lines are open for those of you who would like to participate, interact with Dr. Raj live in studio, 2228255, also at 6128255. You can also send in your messages on our messenger service at Power 102 FM. Yeah. I see Cassie says, if I mention my birthday is coming up, the first thing they offer is sex. And these are most of my male friends. Yes, of course. They would, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. celebrate together. Yeah. Let's go and have a drink. Yeah. Let's, let's go and have a dinner. Mm -hmm. Let's do something together. And that something mm -hmm. together is the sexual part of it. Even when they say, let's go have a drink. Yeah. At the end of that drink is, how do I get into your pants? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's... And most of the times, as you rightfully mentioned, when you're thinking in terms of birth, birthday, they will take you out first before going home. Well, of course, it's an excuse also. Mm -hmm. it's, an, it's a perfect excuse for you to be close to the person. And of course, if I am celebrating something with you, I expect that I'm going to hug you and I'm going to kiss you. Yeah, yeah. And once mm -hmm. you get that close, you expect it to take it a step further. Mm -hmm. And, allow and any opportunity a man gets mm -hmm. to be intimate with a woman, especially a woman he's interested in, he will take that opportunity. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's no two ways about it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And a last resort, if you've not any, they always have an excuse that, can I come in for a cup of coffee? <laughs> you know, that's, that's the low down ones. They're offering themselves a <laughs> cup of coffee. <laughs> anyway, folks, Pleasant. take more time, 28 minutes after 9 o'clock. Pleasant yeah. good evening to Usha in Rio Claro. That's Rishi in London. Mm -hmm. Yes. Our international listeners, they're locking, locked on also. Jennifer and Jason, they're listening to the program also. Mm. Over in Arima. Lalita. And Indira says tomorrow it's her birthday. What she getting? What she wants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you were here, you would see what you're getting, but you're not here. Mm. You're too far away. Where are you? you would have got well, anyway, outside of the studio, it's fire, though. Mm -hmm. you... Far, far away. Good package, too. But if you were close by, we'd have show you what you're getting. Um, Judy says, well, somebody else agree with, um, who was it? Somebody agree. Lalita says, good night, guys. That's true what you're saying. And I don't want people to just accept it because I am saying it. Eh? We have a call on the line and uh, let's go to the phones. Mm -hmm. Hi, hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Yes, good evening. We are all right. Yes, sir, what's up? I said, yes, sir, what's up? Yes, we're hearing you. Well, we appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so um, you have to understand the way things operate. And persons, when they're in a relationship, not only are you influenced by the things that happen outside of the relationship, but also what is happening within the relationship. Mm. So sometimes you need to sit back, look at your relationship, and think about what I could do to improve it. Because, because it is a work in progress, yeah. a relationship, any relationship that you have, marriage, common law relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever type of relationship you have, it's always a work in progress. Even if it's a same-sex relationship, it's always a work in progress. And what makes something better 
is not just being complacent and saying, oh yes, we're in love with one another, that's my husband, that's my wife, and we're cool with one another, so I don't need to do anything extra. You always need to do something extra. Mm. You always need to put a little extra effort in the relationship. You have to stop and think, what can I do to make my partner smile? What can I do to make her happier? It's not just the physical gift, but also the gift of yourself and the gift of your love and the gift of taking care of things. Those are the gifts of any person appreciate more than the physical gift. You know? Yes, showing them that they are appreciated. That's important. Many a times we fail in that area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you have a lot of relationships too that uh, well especially when you're thinking on the male side they in it basically for just the sexual sexual thing the well sexual it depends thing. on the kind of relationship you have there's some relationship that is strictly physical you know mm -hmm. there's nothing else other than the physical part of it when you meet the person it's you're expected to have intercourse and that's it but i always think that if you want to have a good relationship with someone it should not only be the physical part of it, but you should strengthen all ends of it. Yeah, you should be able to build up. There must be an emotional connection. There yeah. must be some sort of likeness or like, you must like the person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It could develop into love. You know, I, I, I have many fans who don't even know who I am. Mm -hmm. But because of the topic that I deal with, which is sex, gender, sexuality, sexual relationships and whatnot, and they may have seen me or heard me and because of that, they develop a like, a, a, a like, a likening to me. But they don't know me. They know what I say. Although my life is an open book, it doesn't mean to say people know me. When you get to know me, something different. Mm -hmm. Because the character on radio is much different from the person that you meet in the office. It's much different from the businessman you meet on the outside. I am ruthless when I need to be ruthless. Mm -hmm. Like I was dealing with a situation on Thursday and the guy said something out of place and I wait to cool down and I wait for him to cool down and I went up to him and I said, what you said there is wrong and you don't ever say that, especially if you're working for someone because you don't know who I am. Okay. And when I put him in his place, he turned around and said, you real serious boy, like a politician. I said, I'm not a politician, I'm a businessman and I'm very practical and ask anybody about that. Ask anybody who knows me, they'll tell you that. I'm very practical. I say, but if you know me in one sphere, it doesn't mean to know you, you know me in, in another, another sphere. Level, yeah. mm -hmm. And there are people who know me one way and one way only. And there are those who know me all the way around. Mm -hmm. And it's either you like me or you don't like me. Straightforward. Because a lot of people don't like straightforwardness. Mm -hmm. They find that if you're straightforward, I, I remember one person describing me as being mannish. And when you're done with the description and whatnot, and I turn around, I say, yeah, because you like to tell people what you want and control everything about them because you think everything is run by money. But you don't realize that there are some persons who will stand up to you despite the fact that you have money. And the person had nothing to say after that, couldn't mm -hmm. say anything after that. You put them in their place. One time. Mm -hmm. One time. Mm -hmm. But that's important. That's important. Because I don't put up with crap. Mm -hmm. Ever since I was in high school, people will tell you that, you know, if I do something wrong and a teacher walk in and say, who do that? I put up my hand. Mm -hmm. I take responsibility. I've always taken responsibility for any action that you I do. You stand your ground. I stand my ground and stand the consequences of it. Mm -hmm. And I think that is what makes me who I am. So it's the same thing when you're on the radio and you're talking about things or when you're, you're on television, you're doing a TV show. People are asking you certain questions and whatnot. I have had professionals. Right now we're working on, you know, the um, the legalization of, well, so-called legalization of adult toys and whatnot. Yeah. And we're working at it from two angles. And just recently I had to do something, as a matter of fact, today I had to sign a document concerning that. And I, 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 be, I believe in fighting from all fronts. And it's the same thing with a relationship. If I'm in a relationship, I'm committed to the relationship. In whatever form or fashion, I'm committed. So, of course, there'll be mishaps. There'll be a little quarrel. But the, the, the love and sharing and the friendship and whatnot is supposed to be much more than the little quarrel mm -hmm. and the mishaps. Mm -hmm. yeah, but Anytime that part of it becomes more than the love. Yeah, well, then it's trouble. Mm -hmm. You can't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then again, on the other hand, you need good to have a little light argument. No, that's good. It's always, it's always good to trash things out. Mm -hmm. 
it's always good to bring things to the forefront, especially if it's festering within you. If everything is okay, you have no need for that, you know. Mm -hmm. If things are okay between you and your partner, you have no need to bring anything and, and create an argument. There are some people who like to create arguments. Yeah. They like to push your buttons and see how far they can push you and whatnot for mm -hmm. control. To see your, your reaction towards right. what they mention. And also for control. Mm -hmm. Because they like to get your vex. Mm -hmm. But other than that, if things are going smoothly with your relationship and you're taking care of the things that you need to take care and you're building the way you're supposed to build, why get into an argument? Yeah, why, why, why do that? Don't you don't sense. need to do it. Mm -hmm. But if things pop up, something pops up within your relationship, of course you have to deal with it. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Anyway, folks, taking a turn 23 minutes before 9 o'clock. You're on the inside of Sex Explosion on Power 102 FM. Trinidad and Tobago, longest nighttime running program with their host, Dr. Raj Ramnanam of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. That's out in St. Augustine. Our lines are open for those of you who would love to interact live with him in studio. Feel free. You can call in at 222-8255, also at 612-8255. For those of you sending in your WhatsApp and your text messages, you can also do that on his private mobile at 740-1961. You can also send in your messages on our website at power12fm. And just to remind you that this program in, is informative, it's educational, and of course entertaining exclusively on Power 102 FM. Yeah. Pleasant good evening to my good friend Parasram Maharaj. Mm -hmm. We are friends in Standard 2. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's going back a long time. Though. Going back a long time at Waiko Presbyterian School. That is what you call back in time. Yeah, yeah. Good friend of mine. Very good friend. And Jennifer, um, thank you very much. I appreciate your gift. Mm -hmm. I'm getting gifts, you know. I'm speaking on behalf of Jennifer. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she would say that. Because I know any gift coming to you. Mm -hmm. Have Especially to be a special gift. Have to be special. Yeah, I know that for a fact. There is no two ways about that. So when you're with your partner, one of the things that you have to do is explore different things. Mm -hmm. The same way you explore me, we, me, ways and means of controlling your budget, mm -hmm. taking care of the household needs and whatnot, you have to explore the sexual part of your life. Okay, we're going to take a break uh, on the lines here, on the phone lines, and we're going to come right back. Hi, hello, and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. I know it is. <laughs> How could I miss that voice? How could I miss that voice, darling? You think mm. I'll ever miss that voice? Can you even see the smile on family face? Mm. She knows the first smile. Mm. She knows that too well. Mm-hmm. Well, what? My response to that response or feedback is obvious. You could always, you could always teach somebody to be a better lover. And it has some people that wouldn't like outright to instruct them or wouldn't outright to hint. So what they have to do is just like when they have no sexually, you know, grooming when they do, they do something that they like, they tell them when they do something they don't like. Those are the things to send subliminal messages that so what they are telling them what they need to do with them so they could get a little idea. But they make them know, you know, guys are already one way to show them the little idea. So Correct. They to teach somebody to be a better lover. But it's kind of hard to teach somebody to treat the way that they're supposed to be treated. And you're so right about that. Do you know why? Because that is their true nature. If a person ill treats another person, especially somebody you're supposed to be in love with or you care for, that's just their nature. You cannot change their nature. But you can teach a person to be a better lover by simply sitting down and having a chat with them or discussing it in the bed while you're in bed lying with them. That, you know, let's try this and let's, let's see how it will work. Or let's even look at an instructional video. Or as you say, look at, look at a porn. Yeah. And say, you know, we, we, should, we should try that. Just kind of 
Well, Angel, I'll tell you something. I have a lot of friends who are porn stars. And they will tell you that they're not the best in when it comes to sex, you know. They're always looking to improve. So if a person feels that they're a porn god, or they feel that they're the best of whatever they're doing, they, and there's no room for improvement with that person. Mm -hmm. Because once you limit yourself by saying, I know everything about sex, I don't need to be taught anything, I don't need to learn anything new, then something is wrong with that individual. I'll give you a good example. Just about a month ago, I was in Hanover, Germany. And with my luck, I always will end up with somebody involved in the same type of business that I am involved in. And I met this guy who was a cab driver. And we were having conversations about sex and what he does. And he, he told me that they call him the porn king of, of cab driving because he makes porn in his cab. And we were talking about that. And I'm, I'm, I'm sitting back and thinking, you know, I say, look at that. That is something that I have not even ventured into or know about. And here he is teaching me about this. So you're never too old to learn and you don't ever think that you know everything. But if your if your personality is one of violence or being a son of a bitch, you'll remain a son of a bitch. That's not going to change. You must really want to change your personality to change. But what is second nature to you? Second nature to you. Anyway, Angel, it is lovely hearing your voice. I don't know when I'll see you, but uh, so happy to hear from you. Mm. Yes, darling. Likewise, your family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, darling. Oh. Okay, you too, darling. <laughs> well, before taking a turn, it's now 17 minutes before 10 o'clock. Sex explosion on Power 102.1 FM. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we read that, Pete? Yeah. Yes, it's Power 102.1 FM. It's beyond carry on competition. Now, when you're in my house, you think you can sing that. I don't know. You're dead? You're shocked. It's cool. You're cool. It's cool, boy. I think I'm going to take off my jacket. I'm going to take off my jacket. I think I'm going to take off my jacket. I'm going to take off my jacket. That I used 20 years ago. No, I should have brought my winter jacket. I'm going to be using it tomorrow. Come on. Why going to use one degree tomorrow? Canada. Canada. What about the Canada? Niagara Falls. So it's raining now. I know they're real cold. They're cold. The water, the water coming down freezing. Well, yeah. yeah. That area will be real cold. Cold is not. Cold is not. Cold. No, we're going straight through after this, huh? You the man, you the boss, you know. Yeah, if we find ourselves, if we find ourselves scrambling, I could always. I could always what? Go feel somebody, man. Put a little one there now. I feel a lot of we go running to the bathroom. Eh? I feel a lot of us will be running to the bathroom. Why, boy? When it's cold. I know if you're feeling cold, but I hate cold. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm looking for the I've seen it here, but it's offline here. Sexplosion is on Power 102, and now on new days and at new times. The country's most informative sex education program, Sexplosion, is on every Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. and Fridays from 9 p.m. to midnight with Dr. Raj Ramanan, the mm. guru of sex in the Caribbean. A lot of times we think that sex is totally below the waist. It is not below the waist. It starts in the brain. The largest sex organ that you possess is your brain. Tune in for discussion on all sexual matters. Sexplosion. On Power 102, empowering you. We're going to continue that you are making way to an experience by itself when you are on the inside of Sex Explosion on Power 102 FM with your host, Dr. Raj Ramnanen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center in St. Augustine, where he treats all sexual dysfunctions in both male and female. 
Don't forget, folks, that the lines are open if you would love to interact with Dr. Ant live in studio, 2228255, also at 6128255. May I remind you that this program may contain material that is not suitable for children, parental guidance, or therefore advice. Yep. Good evening to Sunil Quinn, Judy Donna, Rajesh, Andrew, Crystal, Rodney, Saira, Mukesh, Shiva, my good friend. I haven't heard from you for a while, boy. Mm. <laughs> Indira, behave yourself. I know that's a nice one. The minute I saw no, it's not a nice one. The minute I saw it. It's not a nice one. I saw the expression on your face. I can tell. I can tell when it's good. Uh -huh. It's good. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. But yeah. it's nice to hear from Indira. It is. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if, if you only know what she's saying. Uh -huh. I can just imagine. So how do you how do you start exploring? First of all, well, take that call mm -hmm. before we yeah, let go me there. Come. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. I can have some wicked sex with you. All right. I think she got the message. Yeah. Yeah, she got it. Yeah. Hmm. That was faster than Telex. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have Telex again. You know? No, let me tell you how fast it was. <laughs> anyway, folks, taking your time 12 minutes before 10 o'clock. I tell you. This is what it's all about when it comes to sex education. Nobody does better as we do. Right here on Power 2.1 FM. And for those of you joining us for the very first time, Sex Explosion is featured on Thursday and Friday evening right here on Power 2.1 FM with none other than sex educator, Dr. Raj Ramlinan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so... Um when you want to explore with your partner, where do you start? Mm -hmm. First place you have to start with is being honest to each other. Yeah. Being honest in what you're thinking, being honest about what you would want, try not to beat around the bush. And it's very difficult sometimes to be honest when it comes to your sexuality and your sexual wants and needs. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. Because then you're studying how the person is going to judge you, what they're going to think about you. Let's say it has to do with um, foreplay yeah. and what pillow talk pillow talk and foreplay is something that is very essential in love making but if you want certain things to be said and done in foreplay and you cannot say it to your partner that this is what I want and this is what I need and this is what I like to hear then you cannot go further there's no exploring anything so the first thing you need to do is to be honest with each other. Be honest to yourself and know the things that you wanted. And how do you know what you want? You know what you want from what you have, what you have heard, what you have read, what you have seen, what you have observed, whether it be in a movie mm -hmm. and it's something that tickles your fancy. And suddenly you're like, hmm, I think I would like that. The antenna goes up. What happens with individuals is that they introduce the things by different medium. The medium might be your smartphone or your smart device. It might be television. It might be radio, listening to a program like this and hearing about something. It might be something you read. Now, I know not as much people read now as, the, as before, but reading is such a wonderful thing. Because when you're reading, reading is even better than radio, you know. Oh. Now, I'm not telling people to switch off the radio and go and read it. No, we don't want that to happen. <laughs> Afterwards, they could go and read. Mm -hmm. But when you're reading, you're actually creating a movie within your brain. Mm. Because while you're reading, it stimulates your brain to look at things in a particular way, to see things, to feel things. To you actually could smell something from reading. Because if someone describes, that's why writers, writers are such talented people, you know. A person who could write yeah. would write something. And when you're reading whatever they have written, it's like, my God, I actually tasted that coffee that the person was describing. 
I could actually smell the rose as they describe it. Because they create that within you and they could bring that out within you. We have a, we have a wonderful writer in this country. <clears throat> when he writes, Paul King Douglas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you read Paul King Douglas' work, you can actually feel whatever he's relating in his writing. You know, I'm not talking about just listening to him. When you listen to him, that's pure entertainment. Mm -hmm. But yes. when you read some of the things that he has written, like for example, Tantia the Oval. If you read Tantia the Oval and the description of the basket and the parasol and the, the food in the basket and the overs, and if, if you don't know cricket, you could actually picture the game, you know. It's so well written. Yeah, the way he describes. Although it is in dialect, mm -hmm. but it's well, uh, and I shouldn't say although it's in dialect. It is in dialect, and I love dialect. I love Trinidad dialect. I love to read in dialect. As a matter of fact, I read in other dialects also. But when you read it and you read the description, there's something that sticks in my mind all the time. Since the first time I read it in 1970s, the night was black like Mary Backside. Mm -hmm. That was a description he was given of, of a night when storytelling was being told. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is the description. That's how he started it off. The night was black as Mary's backside. That tells you, it, it, it shows you how dark it could be. But also, when you're reading something, what it does, it stimulates your mind and make you feel for something. Or make you feel that's what you're going to like. So when you have read these things, even, even persons reading things in the newspaper, uh -huh. there are things that sexually stimulate the individual, you know. Even reading it in a news report or seeing it in a news item. And that's because we are human beings and things stimulate us in a different way. It doesn't make you guilty of a crime, you know. Just as much as you see somebody holding up a place. Recently, we had someone who escaped from prison. You know there were people, myself included, who wanted to see that person escape and get away. Although that person robbed me. Oh. Yeah. I would have liked to see that because oh, yeah. just the fact, the, you see, there was a thrill to that. Although it, although it was something wrong. Mm -hmm. But, I, I mean, I, I, I admit it. Go ahead. Okay, we go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Dr. Raj. Uh -huh. If I give you advice, you'll take it. Depends on what the advice is. Why you do give Junior some prayer? Because that's for your mother to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure you have a young mother too. Yeah. Uh, anyway, are you lucky I'm on the radio, yeah? Mm -hmm. Some stupid people. Any old folks taking your time? It's now five minutes before 10 o'clock. You're on the inside of Trinidad and Tobago, number one nighttime program, Sex Explosion on Power 2.1 FM. Fools rushing where wise men never go. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Okay. Yeah. So when you, um, first of all, if you're honest about what you like mm -hmm. and what stimulates you, then you can bring it up with your partner. And I'm not only talking about men, you know, because although I'm a man talking about sex, it's not only from a male perspective. It's also from a female perspective. The female also have stimulation and they also have needs and wants and they also have things that they conjure up in their mind that they would like to try, that they would like to do. It may not be in the normal setting, it might be outside of the norm. Yeah. But how do you bring that up with your partner without they judging you? And most of the time we are afraid of being judged. That's what we're afraid of. We're afraid of being judged. So that's why you um, you don't want to put it out there to the person. But if you're honest enough uh -huh. and you're able to carry on that sort of conversation, you'll be able to put it across to the person and have a nice discussion about it and then take it to a different level. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Anyway, folks, taking your time. It's now five minutes before 10 o'clock. You're on the inside of Sex Explosion on Power 102.1 FM. We specialize when it comes to sex education, taking it to a whole new level. With the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. That's out in St. Augustine, where he do treat all sexual dysfunctions in both male and female. And if you would love to interact with him via the telephone, feel free, our lines are open at 222 
also at 612-8255. If you do decide that you want to send him a private WhatsApp or a text or message, you can also do that on his private mobile, 740-1961. So, once you know the things that you want to do, mm -hmm. and you are able to bring it out, so you're honest enough about that, the person has to be receptive also. They must be receptive to the fact that you are an individual yeah. with an individual needs. And each individual have different needs. Mm -hmm. But if the person is not open-minded enough mm -hmm. to understand that, yeah. then you're stuck. You can't go further. Mm -hmm. You're stuck in that environment where you cannot discuss things differently. Okay, we're going to go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi. No, don't do that. Don't do that. No, don't do that. Do okay, okay fine, but mm -hmm. don't do that. Don't let that person spoil your night. Yeah, yeah, you know no, answer. no, I done with you a long time. Yeah. If he call back, you get another piece. But yeah, yeah. You, you have to understand, jealousy is a hell of a thing, you know. Jealousy is a hell of a thing. When a person is incapable of achieving anything in their life, and they see others being better than them. They try to pull them down in any way possible. You know? And yeah. once you are a successful individual, you'll understand that. Mm -hmm. If you are successful at selling on the side of the road, there's somebody who wants to pull you down from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a fact. If you are successful at whatever you're doing, there's always someone who wants to destroy you. Mm -hmm. And don't ever believe that everyone is going to like you the same way. And I know that for a fact. Yeah, but the thing about it is by making comments like that, what accomplishment you would have accomplished? Just a waste of time. No, that, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. He now has to live with the fact that I told him that. Although he has told mm -hmm. me that, that is water off my back, that is no big deal. Mm -hmm. I deal with sex. Mm -hmm. yeah. I openly deal with sex and anything of a sexual nature. Mm -hmm. So nothing, somebody's no. going to tell me about no. it, going to throw no. me no. off, no. and I have no pro, I'm not homophobic. I'm not. <laughs> okay. We're going to go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello? Yes, we're listening to you. Well, like here over your body is for warmth. Mm -hmm. The reason why we have hair on our body is for warmth. It keeps it keeps the air locked in, air blowing across your body. There's there's <laughs> you know, I can't believe somebody would ask a question about the purpose of hair, you know. Pubic hair especially. Mm -hmm. But you could shave it or not shave it, it's up to you. It's like hair on your face. What's the purpose of a beard? Style, but the, mm -hmm. the beard serves a purpose depending on the climate that you're in. It could protect yeah. your face, right? It's the same thing with pubic hair in, in well, here in the pubic area. Especially if you're living in a but, cold country. But you can shave it off if you so choose to do. Mm -hmm. Some people shave their head. But hair is a protection for your head also. Because your head's supposed to be kept at a certain warmth. Mm, okay, yeah. That's why you have hair on top of your head. Mm -hmm. So despite the fact that you may shave your head, there are times that you don't want your head to get too cold. Especially if you're living in a climate that it's cold. Yeah. Now, we're not, we don't live in that in the tropics and whatnot. But at the same time, it serves its purpose. It also has, in, the, in those areas, that's where you let off your pheromones. And it traps the pheromones and releases it mm. over in a different way. Okay. Most persons, yeah. when they shave the area, they want to spray perfume and whatnot, and that messes things up. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. Good evening, Doc. What complicates some relationship is that one partner may like or want to do something the other partner may not like to do or share something too. One partner may not fully understand what they, what and why he wants something and he, she may not be able to communicate that one to his or her partner. That's true. Mm. But many a times that I have found you have one person being more open about things and the other person being very reserved. 
and they're fearful about discussing things. Some persons are ashamed to discuss things of a sexual nature. Mm. They are just ashamed because they are thinking that if I tell this person what I really like, what would they think about me? So how do you break the ice? When do you let the person know? There are many times I'm, I'm conversing with an individual, whether it be professionally or personally, uh -huh. and there will be an opening for me to ask certain questions, and that's when I ask the question. Just, I guess I'm analytical all the time when it comes to conversing with people, and sometimes they may not understand that. And the reason I'm analytical all the time is because that's my profession. But at the same time, I want to truly know the individual that I'm dealing with. So I want to know everything about that person. Mm. Take that. Okay, we go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Dr. Raj. Good evening. Do you mind I give that personal advice in our call? Which one? The guy with the shipping guy now. Let me don't... You need to visit your store and get a toy and you good. Well, let, let me just, let me don't make the program. Yeah, but let me don't make the... Let's not make the program about him. No, 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 no. I need to give him my advice. All right. All right, thank, thank okay. you. Okay, family. Okay, my big brother. Mm -hmm. I understand the irritation and I understand the defense. That's why I tell you, I'm not fearful of anything because I know people will come, into my, come to my defense in anything that I do. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there are those who will want to step out of bounds. But mm -hmm. I could deal with anybody mm -hmm. anywhere. But it just goes to It's just that he's lucky that I have listeners out there that I respect also. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he thinks I would have told him. He would never pick up a phone to call anybody again. But it just goes to show the fans that you have. No, I understand. I, 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 I am thankful for that, you know. But I don't want to make this program about that one conversation. Mm -hmm. I want to make the program about persons being able to communicate with their partner, mm -hmm. to let your partner know what you truly like so that you could have a better relationship. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't get it from your partner, you seek it elsewhere. Yeah. And this is what leads to infidelity most of the times. And not even infidelity in the sense of the word that you're horning, but sometimes you gravitate towards a person because the person appreciates you for something more than your current partner. Yeah. And we all want appreciation in life, you know. We want somebody who could hug us, who could love us, who could tell us that we're special, who looks at us differently. We want that. We want to get that feeling from that person. How many times married individuals out there, mm -hmm. you go to bed with your wife, right? You will have your routine of doing things. She may twist to the side, pull the cover, let so fall asleep with the television on, whatever. But during those moments, do something different so the person actually feel a love from you. How many times we do that? That's true. Mm -hmm. I remember a very famous person saying, that she looks forward to waking up next to her husband because she's, she never knows what he's going to leave or what he's going to put under her pillow. She never knows. Because sometimes in sleep, he'll slip something under the pillow. How do you give your wife a gift? What are the things that you do? I know my wife's routine. I know my wife. Routine. You know her routine. I know her routine. I know her routine down okay. as just as much as you know my routine. Mm. I know my wife's routine. I know what she's going to do, what she's going to say, what, where she's where she'll be at any particular time. I could tell you that. That's precise. No, I could tell. Uh -huh. I could tell you that. If my wife have to go to the grocery, I could tell you exactly where she's going, what lane she's going to go in. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know the routine. And I don't go with her, you know. But she will tell me exactly what she's doing. And I know how she sets her pattern. So if I have to give my wife a, a gift, mm -hmm. I know what appliance she's going to go to okay. in the morning. And that's why I leave it. Mm -hmm. Or what she's going to do. Which door she's going to walk out of. That's good. That, that, that's good. That's like a tracking. No, no, it's no, not a tracking. Really track it's it's knowing. Everything. It's but knowing. Know, knowing what, knowledge. Knowing her habits. Okay, what we're going to do is go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. 
Hello, good evening. Good evening to my brothers. How are you, my dear? I have not left you not one. I know that. You don't have to Just tell me that. I've given the young one to keep, keep asking the same questions I realize you're having. Your clients coming on all the time. New mm. one. Uh -huh. So I'm listening, locked on. I just wanted to tell you, you continue, the both of you continue with your wonderful educated program. Thank you, Zina. Okay? Thank you, Zina. And that's all I have to say. But I'm locked on as usual and listening. We appreciate that. Have a wonderful night. Okay, family, thanks a lot. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 Real family, I know. Zina yeah, yeah, Zina program. do miss our program. Zina do miss our program. We know that. And I show sure Zina do practice some of the things that you preach. Of course, and she tells her children to listen to the program and other people too. Yeah, but see, no, that's, the, that's uh, a nice thing. So, if you know your partner, mm -hmm. and you know the little quirks, and everybody have, I have quirks, you have quirks, we have things that oh, yeah, we do, everybody, right? Yeah, everybody. And you, because of those quirks, you could do certain, certain things. Today, my secretary and my daughter wanted to do something. And they're trying to figure out a way to do it. So I told my daughter what to do. And while she was doing it, I said, see me, I am going to do this because I know what my wife is going to do. And as soon as I did it, mm -hmm. second after, she did exactly what I thought she was going to do. <laughs> so later on in the day, I'm telling her, later on in the afternoon, we were together and we were, we were, we were driving to her somewhere. And I'm telling her, I said, you know, while you were preparing that and doing so-and-so-and-so, and so, mm -hmm. I knew you were going to do so-and-so, so that's why I did so-and-so. She said, you really don't be going. No, you, I mean... I mean it's because I thing. know that is what was going to happen, despite the fact that everything was... It was different. Mm -hmm. But I know at that time that this is what's going to happen. Mm. Great. Anyway, folks, taking your time, nine minutes after 10 o'clock, and I can tell you that you are making radio an experience by itself when you are on the inside of Sex Explosion on Power 2.1 FM. I tell you, this is what it's all about. Nobody does it better than we do on a Thursday and Friday evening right here on Power 2 FM. With the guru of sex education, your host, Dr. Raj Ramnadan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center of the St. Augustine, I tell you, he do treat all sexual dysfunctions. And um, it's now 10 minutes after 10 o'clock. And I want to um, get an update because I've been hearing good things about the stores that's been on Grand or on Grand Brazil. I, oh, I, know, okay. I, I know a friend that visited. and uh, I know when you visited. And she said, <laughs> and she said, excellent, excellent. Before I, before I uh, fill in on that, let's do this. Hi, guy, doc, good night. If KY jelly expires some months after expiry date, would it still be okay to use or not? I will not advise you to use anything that you have to insert into the body after its expiry date. Mm. There could be a buildup of bacteria. Mm. And you do not want to get a bacterial infection. So no, I will not advise you to do that. Throw it away by got another, Especially another tube. Like that, eh? Yeah, because remember when you're using any sort of lubricant, more than likely it will get contaminated, especially if it doesn't come in a pump. If it comes in a tube, mm -hmm. it will get contaminated because you, your hands may have touched an area of the body, even under the feet, and you will go and use the, the, the lube and touch back the, the, the tube, the, the top mm -hmm. of the tube, to just to get some. So it could get bacterial infection. Oh, yes, yeah. So you have to be very careful. That's why it's always good to buy a pump action mm. because the pump squirts out a certain amount in your hand mm -hmm. and you don't really... Touch it with your dirty fingers and whatnot. No direct touching. No. So that's very important to understand. And once you're going to insert it into the vagina, the anus, mm -hmm. um, around the penis, use it for oral sex and whatnot, you have to be very careful with that. Hmm. Okay, tell me what we are going to do is go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Dr. Raj. Yes. I told you just now to ask you a question about our strategy and concern last night. But this is something serious I want to ask you. I, I, my function is majority for seven years, which I know a few years for my part, right? The, the, like to have sex in the inner. Could you, like me, go to the reason why they like to do that? Well, inner intercourse is very pleasurable, you know. The more pleasurable uh, than your vagina? Yep. So, 
Well, it is not coming like a norm. It has always been a norm. It's a norm it, it is just that it is openly discussed now. But anal intercourse has always been a norm. Okay. But, but, but because but people are more aware. Because I, I never sign out from you. I have to come and listen to your program. But doing that, right? It has any sickness or any bad thing into that? You could get a bacterial infection. Um, you, you don't create. You don't create a, a sickness by having anal intercourse. I say you don't. You do not create an illness by having anal intercourse. You could get an infection, just as how you can get an infection from the vagina. You can get an infection from the anus. And I always warn individual: if you're having anal intercourse, do not take the penis from the anus and put it in the vagina. Well, that is transference of bacteria, so you have to be careful about that. You have to tell me. I know what they do, you know. No, no, I know that. I know but what you have to, what you have to, what you have to do, is that I'm just giving you the precaution when you're doing those things. There are precautions with anything that you're doing, but do not think that anal intercourse is anything new. It is not new. It has always, it has all, it has always, it has always been a wrong. It has always been a wrong, and it has always been practiced. From time immemorial, ever since sex was invented, which is in the invention of man and woman, yeah. that has been part of sexual intercourse. Well, the reason for that is some of them want to keep their virginity, and but they still want to enjoy sex. Well, if they get if they get involved in that and they get to like it, that's what they would like. Like everything else, it's conditioning. If you listen to my pro. Well, you have to compromise. <laughs> you have to compromise. There's nothing wrong with compromising. Wait, wait. There's nothing wrong with compromising as long as it's giving you the pleasure that you want. You know, do you? Well, listen to me now. Do you get pleasure from it? Yes, sir. Well, right. So, where's the problem? <laughs> okay, family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, sometimes there's a guilt factor. Yeah. Sometimes there is a, a feeling that I should not be doing this mm -hmm. because of so and so reason. But again, everything that you do, there are consequences to it. Mm -hmm. If you're doing something and you're disgusted by it, and you think you should not do it, yeah. then you shouldn't. But if, by all means, if you are doing it and you're okay with it, let me say 50% okay with it, mm -hmm. and you're getting a certain level of satisfaction and it goes up beyond 50%, and you say, well, okay, I'm doing it because I heard, but I really like it too. Mm -hmm. But it's not something I'll condone, but I'll still do it because I like it. By all means, go ahead and do go it. Ahead, yeah. Go ahead and do it. It's up to you. But like everything else with intercourse, as you become more and more experienced, mm -hmm. as you develop your repertoire with things of a sexual nature, you may need to do things differently. Mm. I know a, 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 a lot of men are afraid for a woman to touch them on their anus. I'm not talking about a man, I'm talking about a woman. Mm -hmm. And when it does happen, their reaction will first be to clinch or pull away. Yeah. Because of homophobia, because they think that it's not right. But if the woman is persistent because that's what she likes and that's what she wants to do, eventually the man gives in. Mm -hmm. But they want to keep it between them. Do not let anybody know that I like this because they will think that I am gay. But it has nothing to do with that. Sex, has, sex is not about whether what, what people think, you know. It's about what you enjoy. So that's what I'm telling you. When you want to explore something, Let's say, for example, somebody looking at, at a movie or looking at a show that exploring bondage and discipline. Yeah. They may want to be spanked, but how do you go and tell your wife, your big strapping man, that you want to be tied up and spanked? You think that it takes away from your machoism. It takes away from your manlyhood. So you don't want to come out and say, yes, that is what I want. As a matter of fact, that is what you really want, but you're afraid to say it. So it's the same thing with a person saying they like anal intercourse. 
The first thing they will say, well, a, a, a man have a anus, so you could have sex with a man. I do not like to have sex with a man anus. I want to have sex with a woman's anus. There's a difference. A big, big difference. Although those who argue against it will tell you there's no difference. There is a big difference. Psychologically, physically, and emotionally, there is a difference. Mm -hmm. And if you know how to handle that and deal with it, it becomes easier for you. And your behavior should not be influenced by what somebody thinks about what you're doing, but it should be influenced by the safety of what you're doing. It should be influenced by your partner's willingness to do it with you and the enjoyment that you get out of it. Not if my friend find out what they go think about me. No. That is none of their business to begin with. Your business is within you and your spouse and what you do in the bedroom. That's your business. And that's where it should be kept. That's where it stays. When it, should be stay, it should stay right here. Well, I can tell you that you are making radio an experience by itself when you are on the inside of Sexplosion with your host, the only one in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Randanen of Total Limit and the Adult Therapy Center. Folks, don't forget our lines are open. If you would love to interact with him, maybe you have something that might be bothering you and you need to get it out of your chest. This is the place to be. Sexplosion on Power 102 FM 222 8255. Also at six one two eight two five five. Yeah, I think that's a major hurdle. The fear of what other people think. If you state what you like, that's that. That is that is the number one hurdle. Mm -hmm. We're always afraid of what the other person is going to think. Even when we dress, there are some people afraid to dress how they really want to dress, you know, because they they're studying what the person would think. There are some persons who, you know. They're comfortable wearing a suit, but they're afraid of what another person will tell them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because people would people want to make comments, I I like to dress. And there's sometimes persons who make a comment, you feel you overdress, but I like to dress. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I do. That's a popular line yeah. I hear often. Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. If you think you're overdressed, that's your problem. Take off some of your clothes. Yeah, but that's your, again, it is your personal business what you choose to do. Mm, yeah. I can't analyze somebody watching you and telling you, especially with a man, somebody watching you and telling you that, hey, look, family, you, you know you're overdressed. But how much so you could put on? <laughs> how much so you could put on? I asked them what do they mean by that. Mm -hmm. it's is it nice to, do, if it's nice, do it twice. If no fun, then one and done. <laughs> But at least give it a try before you you bash it. Why your friend should be in your bedroom business? Kiki, you're right. Why why should they be in your bedroom business? Because I don't want to be in your bedroom business. That's your private. That's your private. The seat. only time I want to be in someone's mm -hmm. bedroom business is when they come and sit in front of me mm -hmm. and they pay me a fee to listen and to analyze, diagnose, and treat their problem. That's the mm -hmm. only time I want to know what you do in your bedroom. Other than that, I don't care. As long as you're not hurting anyone, That's you're not forcing anyone, mm -hmm. I don't care. You do what you want to do. That's your life. That's your life. Mm -hmm. That's your life. And it's the very same thing with me. What I choose to do is between me and myself and I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I am comfortable with it, that's I have to live with it. I sleep with me at the end of the day, you know. I go to bed with me. I have to analyze me and I have to be comfortable with me because I look at me in the mirror. Mm -hmm. And I would not look at me in the mirror and, and tell myself a lie because I cannot fool myself. So I am who I am and I'm comfortable with that. And that's what that person must take that attitude towards themselves and strengthen their relationship with their partner based on that. Now the same way that I am me, my spouse is she, she has her own personality and whatnot, and I'm not going to infringe on that. But when it comes to compatibility as far as things of a sexual nature is concerned, it is both of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The responsibility is both of us. But other than that, your personality and your traits and your quirks and whatnot is your business. If others are uncomfortable with that, that's their business. You've got to please yourself first. Correct. Mm -hmm. 
like yourself. Well, folks, taking with time, 21 minutes after 10 o'clock, and I can tell you that you are making radio an experience by itself when you are on the inside of Sex Explosion and Power to 2.1 FM, taking sex education to a whole new level. Now, I remind you that this program may contain material that is not suitable for children. Parental guidance are therefore advised. Yeah. Yeah, so getting back to what you were asking about yes. the business, mm -hmm. I must say the response has been tremendous, first of all, with the shareholders. Yeah. Secondly, with opening the business, mm -hmm. rebranding re the business, having it operate now, I have seen a 100% increase in business mm -hmm. with the amount of people, persons who are visiting the business, persons who have never been there before. And we're offering massages now. Mm -hmm. So we start doing massages at, at the um, Bamboo Number 3 oh, branch. Okay. And I'm happy to, to, to report that very soon, mm -hmm. before the end of the year, we'll be opening our second branch, well, third branch in Debe. Debe, okay. Not DB. Debe. Debe. That is in South Trinidad. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. Debe, South Trinidad. Nice people up on that side. Really nice people. You mm -hmm. know, you remember where I took you to buy the Sahina and the bar nice. and thing? Yeah. Oh, Not too yeah. far from there. Mm -hmm. Not too far from Not there. Too far from there. Every time I go to Debbie, I just stop by that place, you know, and I always remember yeah. taking I you there. You, yeah. the, you oh, and the girls. You, yeah, beautiful place, man. So we'll be opening there sometime next month. Mm -hmm. um, it's at the Shops of Debbie. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the place, Shops of Debbie. Shops of Debbie. Yes, um, that's on the SS Earring Road, number 172 SS Earring Road. Mm -hmm. Um, it's before the gas station. There's a old gas station there. Uh -huh. For those who know the area, it's before the old gas station. So we got the location down. Oh, it's there. We, um, I paid for the location this week, and we're um, starting the work on it on Tuesday. So it should be done in two weeks' time. Yeah. So everything would be in place, and we're ready, we, we're ready to, to do business in the south. Yeah. So the people in the Southland, Penal, yeah. um, Woodland, Barakpo, Irian, Siparia. Yeah, straight, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. And I will be there twice twice a month. Twice a month. To meet with clients. Yeah. I heard um I had a friend that visited the one at Bamboo. And she was impressed. <clears throat> she she was really impressed. And she gave me the um thing that family, you can't miss it. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> this is this is the first thing that she mentioned to me. See, you can't miss it at all. Someone asked, what about a woman who wants to have sex with another man after being married for years, but won't leave, leave their husband? That, that, there's nothing uncommon about that, you know. Mm -hmm. Persons may think that, that that is a strange thing. But you could be married for years, but still have a desire to be with somebody else just for the experience, yeah. just to know what it's like. Mm -hmm. If you like somebody, you'll know what, you see, sex Sex is not only about the physical act of sex. You know. Sex is about many different things. And to some individual, one part of it is greater than the other part. Mm -hmm. So if, let's say, for example, you like someone, you're interested in that person, the first thing you think about is sex. How do I get to have sex with that person? Uh -huh. So don't think that a woman would not think the very same way, regardless of her religion, regardless of her upbringing, her morality, her parenting, mm -hmm. regardless of all those things. If she thinks about having sex with an individual, yep. the thought is there. It does not mean she will act on it, but there are some women who would act on it. And it's very easy for a person to do something like that, but yet still remain in their relationship once they're committed to their relationship. Mm -hmm. Many a time when a person steps out of their relationship is because they're not committed to their relationship. Mm -hmm. But oh. commitment doesn't guarantee. Commitment does not guarantee that the person will only want to be with you. That is not what commitment means. Some people think it means that, you know. But with human beings, that is not what commitment means. Mm -hmm. That's not what Swena Oath means. It all has to do with what that person believes. That's why I tell you, if you believe the act that you are, you are doing, yeah. you feel guilty about it, do not go down that road. If you think you're doing something wrong, do not go down that road. If there is no guilt, if you do not think that you're doing something wrong, and you're okay with it, by all means, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Yeah, but you know, it, it is mind-baffling to know that you could be in a relationship 
for so many years, and then I'm speaking in terms of, let's say, 10, 12 years, and all of a sudden, you see this one person that you say, look, I would love to have sex with this person. There is no guarantee when you fall in love that your love is locked into that person. It's not like a start um, enterprise, you know. Mm -hmm. When you go in, when when you lock in your phasers on the on, on mm -hmm. the enemy and and is it you're shooting at the enemy and is it you know. Love mm -hmm. is not like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Love does not focus on one thing and lock in on it and that's it. The love only belongs to that, you know. That's not what love is, and that's not the true meaning of love. We as human beings have the capacity to love endlessly we have that capacity within us but others will like to tell us others other people other persons whether it be someone in authority yeah. whether it be a person in, who want to control others or whatever will tell you you should only love one person but we are incapable of only loving one person we are incapable of only loving one thing we could love a flower we could love a fruit we could love an animal we could love a, a car, we could love a house, we could love a couch. We all have favorites in the things that we do and we all love something. But the intensity of our love is magnified by the way we feel about certain things and certain people. So when persons want to limit you and tell you you should only love your husband, you should only love your man, you don't understand human brain. You really don't understand the human brain because the human brain has the capacity to love more than one at, with the same intensity and the human brain have the capacity while being in love to fall in love with someone else mm -hmm. and there are persons who are going to argue and tell you that is impossible but then you are limiting the human mind then you are telling me that the human mind the one the, the, the nine percent of the human brain that we use the other 91 percent does not matter okay mm -hmm. that's what you're telling me and when individuals want to tell you that, okay, you like sex, okay? But sex should only be a man on top of a woman. And that's it. Then you are telling me you're limiting the brain again. Because it should be that I must be able to have sex with this person in many different forms and fashion. So I get the full satisfaction and she or he gets the full satisfaction. And also... Also, while having sex with one person doesn't limit me to wanting to have sex with another person. It doesn't shut off, shut off that feeling. As a matter of fact, the more you have sex, the more you want to have sex. Mm -hmm. So some person will say, well, you shouldn't have sex often. But the, least, the, the, the less you start having sex, you start, you start creating problems for yourself also. So where do you draw the line and what... How do you say that this is what it's supposed to be and this is only this is what it's supposed to be? There is no one who could tell me that is true. Not even based on religion, based on society, yep. based on morality or law. Hmm. Nobody could tell me that. Hmm. Anyway, folks, taking the time, 29 minutes up to 10 o'clock, the magic sex explosion on Power 2.1 FM with the Guru of Sex Education, the only one in the Caribbean, Dr. Raj Ramnanam of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. That's up in St. Augustine. For those of you who would love to interact with him live in studio, feel free. 2228255. Also at 6128255. You're listening to a program that's informative, educational, and of course entertaining exclusively on Power 102 FM. Mm. So many a times you have persons who know better. Yeah. They understand the human brain when it comes to control. Because they want to stand up on a stage mm -hmm. and control the audience. Whoever the audience may be. They want to sit down there or stand up there and tell people what is right and what is not right and what is what is supposed to be done. And you have the person who is sitting down listening to that and saying, well, my brain does not allow for that. My brain could tell me that I love my wife who is sitting next to me. Or well, you see that nice chick who was in by the door when I was walking in, I would like to do something with her. My brain is telling me that. So you are telling me what you are saying there is greater than how my brain is thinking. Yes, there's loss. Yes, but there's also want and need when it comes to things of a sexual nature. 
But there's also control. You have to know to control. Not everything that you want, you're going to get. But there are things that you need that you should get. Because you want to satisfy your needs. The wants you could put aside. But the needs that you have, you have to be able to satisfy that. Hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, you will be unfulfilled as a person. Hmm. Anyway, folks, taking the time, 28 minutes before 11 o'clock. I tell you, this is what it's all about. Sex Explosion on Power 102.1 FM. The only one in the Caribbean, the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramnanen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center out at St. Augustine. And don't forget, if you would love to send him a private message or WhatsApp message because you're a bit shy to hear yourself on radio, you can also do that on his private mobile, 7401961. Many a times, many a times, we have thought about something mm -hmm. that may be illegal or immoral or impractical. Yeah. But at the same time, what do we do to stop ourselves from going down that road? Okay, gonna, we're going to focus on that. We're going to go back to the lines. Hello, and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hello. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Yes. Yes. Well, I don't know her medical rec records, so I cannot answer that. Well, and she, well, she also tell me, um, since she lost the baby, they gave her tablets, like, uh, for the blood function, because she says she's still bleeding. Mm -hmm. That could be possible if she lost one child and she carrying one child. Well, that, that, that part of it, I, 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 I really can't answer that. I, I need to get more information. I say I need to get more information, but you see, you relating the story, you'll relate it based on what she tells you, but you will not be relating all the facts. So the only way I can do that is if the person calls me and speaks to me. So call me at the office. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 you're not making sense at all. The doctor... No, well, well, you're, you're, not, you're not making sense based on what she tell you. Because remember, I'm not talking to her. If she tells you something like that, she giving you a story. They don't induce labor at six months. They do not induce labor at six months to begin with. Okay? Uh -huh. So she's giving you a story. No, but if she have an infection, they should be treating both infections. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks a lot for calling. Don't forget our lines are open. If you would love to interact with Dr. Raj, feel free at 222-8255, also at 612-8255. You are listening to Sex Explosion on this Friday evening with the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramnana. Yep. 
Good night, you guys. Always listening. Reach home safe from the Rio Claro family. Hey, and, uh, the real family. I love them people too bad. Even though you know you never meet people, eh? But you. Well, you, you know we go. We know. You know we going by them next month for the um. Yeah, yeah well, the cocoa tea. Oh no, yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to that. If one look at gay porn but never had gay sex but love heterosexual sex is one gay no. Mm -hmm. How does that make you gay? So you looking at a, a movie with murder that makes you a murderer? No. You like watching horror movie. Yeah. Does that make you somebody who is horrible? No. Come on. No. It's, common sense. it's entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. Sexual entertainment does that to you also. You end up looking at things of a sexual nature and you look at different things. Looking at animal porn, for example, bestiality. Does that make you want to do it with the bees? No. Some persons may want to, mm -hmm. but not because you look at it makes you that. No. No. It doesn't define you. I like to look at Different types of... I like to look at Western. Does that make me a cowboy? No. Well, of course not. Never see you with a gun, sir. Well, I have. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like the toy gun, you know. Uh -huh. Will you? Anyway, folks, taking your time, 23 minutes uh, before 11 o'clock. For those of you who are listening to Sexplosion for the very first time, Sexplosion is featured here every Thursday and Friday on a Thursday from 7 until 9 o'clock. Dr. Ranji sits in with my brother, my daddy, and on a Friday from 9 until 12, but we are going until 11 tonight, I sit in here with Dr. Raj. And it's all about taking sex education to a whole new level. This is what it's all about, educating you. You know, some people hear the word sex, and the first thing that comes into their mind is something that is negative. But we are taking it where it has never been before, exclusively on Power 102 FM. Immorality lays down the foundation as to the limits of sexual orientation and the consequences of guilt in limiting the brain as to how far we can reach. Well, I'll tell you something about the brain. And anyone who knows the brain and understands the brains and understands how the brain grows, and I don't mean physically grow, yeah. but how ideas grow within the brain. For example, you could be sitting here tonight listening to the program. And you decide, you heard something on the program. Mm -hmm. And you say, well, wait a minute. I never thought of that. Well, maybe I could invent something to help that. And all of a sudden, your inventive mind comes into play. Mm -hmm. And that artistic part of you comes out. And you could invent a device just by simply listening to this program. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see that, yeah. Anyway, folks, taking over time, 21 minutes before 11 o'clock. I tell you, nobody does better what we do best when it comes to sex education. And you know that, right, for a fact. Taking sex education to a whole new level, exclusively on Power 102.1 FM. And don't forget, our lines are open. If you would love to interact with Dr. Raj, feel free at 222-8255, also at 612-8255. The answer is yes, anytime, but I'll tell you some of the texts that I get. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. And it's so blunt. Yeah, and, you, and, you, and you know your boy listening. Eh? <laughs> They're just so blunt. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the bluntness, and the yes. answer is yes. Yeah, some people, is, um, straight, some people are straightforward. Eh? Dr. Yeah. Raj, can you discuss the different shape of vaginas and penis once again? Thank you. Ooh. Um, program too short for that, boy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's a call for some more time. Take that call. Mm -hmm. Hi, hello, and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Could you just pull the volume down on your radio for us a bit? Thank you very much. Welcome. No. No. The whining is automatic. The whining is automatic, but it's not whining. Mm -hmm. It's choking. But you could put your, your, your penis in a vagina, and it simply throbs in the vagina, or the warmth of the vagina, or the feeling of the vagina mm -hmm. could cause you to ejaculate. How long you last in the vagina is your ability to hold back from ejaculating. Mm. So you can insert your penis in the vagina yeah. with all the movements 
and enjoy sex to the fullest, you know. That is part of tantric sex. Tantric sex doesn't involve movements, you know. Mm -hmm. it, involve, it involves touching. Uh -huh. It involves mind games that you play with the person. It involves insertion. But it does not have to be whining and gyrating and, and pumping in and out. Is it fair to say it's a mental thing? Of course it is a mental thing. Very mental. You go deep into the brain. That's why I tell you, if you limit the brain, you can't... If you limit the brain, you cannot enjoy um, tantric sex. Oh. Tantric sex is all about the brain. Mm -hmm. It's the brain having sex. By using the organ and using the physical presence of the individual. Yeah. But it does, mean, it does not necessarily mean physical touch. Mm. You could be physically close to the person. Meaning you're in the same room and have sex with that person. Oh. Once you are tuned to the person, and many a times, two persons who are lovers will be in the same vicinity and get the feelings of love and feelings of sex with each other without physically being in one another. Mm. That's heavy stuff. But it's, again, it's not that heavy if you understand the brain and the capacity of the brain. Mm -hmm. The capacity of the brain allows you to do that. So that's why when you tell a person they should only love one person and one person only, you're telling them crap. You're telling them to go against what the brain is designed to do. The brain is not designed to be limited to that. And anytime you limit your brain, what are you going to do? You're going to put yourself in a box and you're not going to expand and you're not going to become better at anything. So you're stifling yourself. Right. That's why when persons are myopic in their views, when persons are only focused on one area, you see how they become? So there are some persons who are great at certain things and they're not good at even common sense thing, you know, because they have not allowed themselves to develop overall. Overall development is much better than being focused and one, one track minded in anything that you're doing, even love, mm -hmm. more so love. Yeah. Pleasant good evening to my good friend, Davis Emil. Hey, family man, long time. How is New York, my friend? I hear it cool there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I hear people don't even want to drink a beer. <laughs> drink a beer? <laughs> hey, how my grandmother used to say, cool as dog nose. <laughs> dog nose, cool as dog nose, you're right. That is real cool. Mm. So, anytime... Anytime you allow your, your ability or your thinking to limit you, you're not going to become better at anything. You're not going to become better as a lover. Mm -hmm. If you tell yourself you're incapable of doing certain things, first of all, you have to, you have to, you have to encourage yourself to do better. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to be your own cheerleader. You have to tell yourself, I am better at, or I am going to get better at this. And that's the first step. And then you work towards it. Nobody is born a genius in lovemaking. But we all born with the ability to have sex. Every single one of us. That's a natural thing. Every single person has the ability <clears throat> to have sex. Uh -huh. What you do with that ability is up to you. How you expand on that. Mm. Some persons are late bloomers. Meaning that. Later on in their life, they understand sex and sexual behavior and patterns and whatnot, and they become a better lover. It's never too late. Some persons have done it earlier. Some persons have been able to do it and have friends that they can do it with, and they, ad uh, and they advance their, their, their knowledge. And some persons have not had that opportunity. If you had the opportunity at an early age, yeah. you can develop and, and become better at what you do earlier. But it does not limit the person who has learned later on in life. It doesn't limit them. Mm -hmm. You just have a heads up on everybody else. Who's starting off later? Yeah, you got a jump start. That's all. That's all it is. I had many a friends when we were in university and whatnot. And the things that... And I, all my friends were always adults. And the things that I used to tell them about things of sexual experiences and things that you could do. They were blown away by it. 
They sit and say, well, how the hell do you know that? How you could know that? I say, it's not knowing, it's doing, it's seeing, it's being part of the action. This is not something you read. Practical knowledge is greater than theoretical knowledge. Mm -hmm. You could read something and never put it into practice. But once you have put it into practice, you don't need to read about it because it's there. No, it's already there. Yeah. Correct. It's already there. My grandfather used to always say, you know, common sense make before book sense, you know. Mm -hmm. I think Apply your common sense first mm -hmm. in anything that you do. Common sense. I always say so. Always. I'm a firm believer of common sense. And other things used to say, when you are educated, people could take away everything from you, but they cannot take away education. In order for them to do that, they have to kill you. Mm -hmm. Yep. education is important and education is not only having a degree education is reading and understanding and that practical part of it that gives you the education mm. many things that are sexual you learn from doing you yep. cannot mm. learn by reading from a book what tantric sex is all about you know unless you practice it you know mm -hmm. you i might tell you about it and say but wait that sounds wonderful but wow that's amazing but you don't know how amazing it could be unless you try it, try unless it, yeah. you do it. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. You said we free you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I was telling you about this thing that I came across, and, and it's something that I had practiced with um, this very good friend of mine in my late teenage years. Yeah. The sexual magic part of it. Mm -hmm. And after coming across the writings about it, about 10 years ago again, I was reminded about it. And I, I, I was reminded not only about it, but of the beauty of it. But it's something that I did not carry on with. Oh. I did not carry on with the sexual magic. And it's only after rereading this book or, or coming across this book, and I came across this book, I bought that book for, I think, 50 cents US. Mm -hmm. The person was actually going to throw away the book. And after I bought it and I reread the book and I said, well, wait a minute, these are the things that we used to do. But these are the things that I used to do in my late teenage years, into my early 20s. Mm -hmm. And having had the opportunity from that person to teach, the, to learn from that person. I was taught that then, but it's something that you put in the back burner and you just leave it yeah, there. And it, yeah. You forget about that until you come across it again and you say, wait a minute. Wow. This is what this, yeah, I did that. This yeah, we, we used to do that. Oh, okay. Bring back, yeah. It brings back a... It, it, you it, retract, it, it, you it, retract, basically. It actually opens up a path, and that's what I was talking about when I got sidetracked. The brain, once it's exposed to something, starts expanding in that area. I see my good friend Michael Salikram just came in. And I will tell you something about his brain. There's no one as talented as him in his area. I, have, I knew him as a young man. He didn't even know me then. And I looked at him. And I saw the potential of him even before he became the Michael Salikra. Mm -hmm. I saw that. Because the potential of an individual is there. It's what you do to bring it out. And once you start doing it, there are more things that are going to come to you. And you say, but wait a minute, I never read this in no book. I didn't go to school and learn this. Where did I get that talent from? All of a sudden, the talent comes out and you become much better at what you're doing. And you're wondering, why am I so good at this? But practice makes perfect, but also the brain starts expanding. And when I say the brain expands, I don't mean to get bigger, you know. Mm -hmm. But there are areas in your brain that you have not touched as yet as a man. Every one of us on this earth, everyone who live, living and will live, there are areas of your brain you have not touched as yet. That supercomputer called our brain. And when you start tracking or going down a, a road, yeah. there are areas of the brain that opens up to you that it will not open up in another individual because that's where you're heading. Mm -hmm. So if you are a musician and you're making notes and whatnot and you're writing music and composing and, 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 and all of a sudden, great composition... You start playing instrument you never knew you could have played before because that part of the brain is growing and that part of the brain is developing. You think the same thing can happen with sex? Come on. Why do we want to limit ourselves all the time when it comes to the topic of sex? Yeah. 
why do we limit ourselves with sexuality? Because we are afraid of even embracing our own sexuality. We limit ourselves with our ability because we tell ourselves we cannot do that. Why? If you have the partner to do it with, by all means, go ahead and do it. Be able to be able to have that conversation with the person to explore, explore the things that you like and the things that you need in your life. Don't just say, I want to do this. I've heard many persons say, I want to do this and say, Raj, you know, boy, you know, I should be doing this. And I'm like, okay, you should be doing it. I'm doing it already. And that's one of the things I tell, I, I, to, I told you in university, I was one of the youngest persons in university. Most of the persons in university, I went to adult university. The university was designed for adults who were already working and whatnot. When I went to the university, I was not even working. Right? And the things I used to tell them about, because I used to have little group, group sessions and whatnot, talking about things of a sexual nature. Yeah. But the things I used to be telling them, and the things that they used to go home and practice, they used to be like, how the hell you do this? It is your understanding of it. And it doesn't make me special, you know. It's just that I have taken this road and I, I have opened up my mind to that. But the person who have not opened their mind to that, they're not going to, they're not going to be better at it. They're not. You have to go in 100%. That's why anything that you're doing, put your effort out. Put your best foot forward. Be the best at what you do. Don't be second best. Mm -hmm. Anything that you're doing. And don't wait for somebody to, to endorse you either. You be a trailblazer. Yeah. Be a leader, not a follower. Always. Always. I strongly believe that. I'm, 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 I'm a believer in that as well. Yeah. Be a leader, not a follower. And I'm a damn good follower. Mm -hmm. If I am in a group, and there's a leader. I'm a very good follower. You know? mm. I'm the same thing. I'm the same thing. Because my leadership quality will overshadow you. Mm -hmm. So I'm a very good follower. I'm a, yeah, makes plenty, plenty, plenty sense. Plenty sense. That's why you must be sure of yourself. And have full confidence. And do not allow yourself. others to define you. Mm -hmm. You create your def definition of yourself regardless of what people may think about you. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, you are with your partner. You have to do that satisfaction to your partner, male or female. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Same sex, multiple partners or whatever, it does not matter. Your relationship or whatever you're doing, you have to come to the forefront. Yeah. You have to rise to the occasion. You have to be the best at that. And do not try to compare yourself with others. You just do whatever you have to do yeah. and make it. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, folks, taking your time is now five minutes before 11 o'clock. You are on the inside of Trinidad and Tobago, number one nighttime program when it comes to sex education, sex explosion on power, the two point one FM with the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramnanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center of St. Augustine. Still got a couple of minutes in which you can interact with him via the telephone. Feel free to two two eight two five five. Also at six one two eight two five five. Yeah. <clears throat> you remember a time I was telling you that there's a close link between your spiritual self and your sexual self? Yeah. Once you start exploring that sexual self, it opens up your spiritual self. Once you start exploring your sex your spiritual self, it opens up your sexual self. Mm. It's watch which one you want to feed. It's like you know the 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 the, 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 the Amerindians who have us are saying that we all have two worlds within us. It's which one you feed? Yeah. The black wolf and, mm -hmm. the, and the white wolf? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Which one are you feeding? And you could feed both. The good thing about it, with your spiritual self and your sexual self, you could feed, bo feed both and both could grow. Mm -hmm. But again, it's up to the individual how far they want to take it. Because in Tantra, and that's why Tantric sex mm -hmm. is so important, in Tantra it allows you to pray while having sex. It allows you to meditate while having sex. Mm. There are mantras that you could say while having yeah. intercourse. And at the wow. point of ejaculation, what mantras you should be saying. Mm. And that is why, now, 
The role that I took in life took me down that path. So at the end of the day, I learned about it. Yeah. And I got introduced to it. So from the practical point of view, I was introduced to it. And I realized that while my spiritual self was developing, the sexual self was, de was developing at the same pace or even greater. And it all depends on which one I was feeding at the time. And if I was feeding both, and some people say, well, you can't feed both. Bullshit. Bull. Don't tell me you cannot feed both. Then you are telling me I'm limiting my brain again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't tell me I could only be sexual and I cannot be spiritual, or I could only be spiritual and I cannot be sexual. That is pure crap. God did not limit us in that way, whoever he or she may be. There was no limitation to that. The limitation is the limitation that you put on your brain. Yeah. So I could learn one trade and I could also learn an instrument. It's the same thing. I could learn the spiritual side and I could also learn the sexual side and I could marry it within my own acceptance. Uh -huh. It may not be what outside accepting, you know. It may not be what society wants to accept, you know. But my acceptance and my comfort of who I am will determine what I like and what I don't like and how far I will go. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to use others to define that. that the definition of what I do comes from within me. From you, yeah. mm -hmm. It comes from within you. So when you're talking about the practical side of sex, the practical side of sex starts from within you. It starts with a theory that you create in your mind, not a theory that you're, you read in a book, although it could start from there. But the practical part of it comes from, it has to be manifested somewhere, and it manifests itself in the brain, that large sex organ that we have. And I'm not talking about large in terms of size, a size square inches or square foot. I'm talking about large in the capacity of what it could do. So when one asks the question of how do I have a better relationship with my partner, better relationship is not only based on sex. Sex is the cement that binds the relationship together. Yes, it's something that strengthens the relationship as you're going along. But it's all the other aspect. That's where the spiritual side comes in. How you treat your partner, the love that you have for him or her, the, how you cherish what you do with a person, how you look forward to spending time with that person. All these little things. Sometimes you want to, sometimes you, you, for a fleeting moment, if it is just for a moment, just to see the person, you want that, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want that. That's a fact, yeah. Despite the fact that you, you're breaking all rules. Mm -hmm. You're breaking all rules, but you just want to spend that two minutes with that person. Yeah. It, it happens. It happens. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And it's what you take it and bake it into. Yeah. It all depends on you as the individual. You have to push it? Yeah. Let me do take it back now. <laughs> anyway, folks, taking over time, two minutes before 11 o'clock's explosion on power to 2.1 FM with the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramnanam of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. That's out at St. Augustine. Mm -mm -mm. I tell you, taking sex education to a whole new level. Talent in anything that you're doing, mm -hmm. singing, dancing, creating, yeah. lecturing, teaching, welding, fishing, talent in anything that you're doing comes from within you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could go to a workshop to learn to do woodworking and no matter how great my teacher is, I may never be able to learn that because I don't have the talent for that. Yeah. And the individuals who have the talent for that and they never went to school, never learned woodworking, and they could create a masterpiece. It's like fishing. You, you know, sometimes you go fishing with a friend and you're catching all the fish. And you're using the same bait. But he... And they're fishing in the same ocean. <laughs> and the same, or the but, same river. But your partner catching the tail. Okay? Yeah. Your natural talent yeah. comes yeah. out. Mm -hmm. So that's why when I go somewhere, when I walk into a room, when I... Anything that I'm doing, I am me. Yeah. I am me. Mm -hmm. And people have to accept that. Yeah. I'm not going to push myself on anybody. Yeah, but the thing about it, you know, you don't expect everybody to like you. I don't I, want everybody to no, like me. No, but you don't expect. You know, sometimes you go into a place and you hope that people do appreciate your company. But sometimes 
you know, you have that odd person that don't do that. Well, stay far from me. Yes, so I stay far from you. You know, Mitch, you, you know, I, there's a couple of people that I know very good. They know me. But you know how this, the old people would say? Your blood they take blood them. They take them. Yeah. No, you haven't done anything to them, eh? You haven't even talked or had a conversation with them. But you can just watch them and say, Look, Yeah, my blood will take care. Your blood in. We must be able to cope with changes too. Mm -hmm. If we can't accommodate changes, then we will never cope with the long-term relation, relationship. Relationships are dynamic and we must all learn to negotiate, compromise and adapt to each other, with each other too. Oh yeah. Of course. Well, darling, since you're feeling that way, what can I say? I wish I could have taken care of that. Feel the feeling. <laughs> feeling the feeling. <laughs> So with that, folks, we've reached the end of our program for tonight. Unfortunately, <coughs> I see my aunt just join us. How are you, darling? Um, no, I, I have to cut it short tonight because I have some commitments that yes, I have to I attend have to. Some, I know you have some and commitments. Until next week. Yep. Thursday with Mac Daddy and Friday with Junior. And Friday with family. It's explosion. Mm -hmm. Good night. Well, stay tuned. Coming up next, you've got an hour of music after that.